Hi kids, it's Pastor Patty and I am so glad to have you with me today for Sunday School. We're starting a new series today on the parables of Jesus. Now a parable is a story and Jesus told lots of stories and each story, each parable teaches us something important about God's love and about God's beloved community. So I want to read a parable to you today. This is called the parable of the sower and it's found in Mark's gospel chapter 4 verses 1 through 9. Whoever has ears to listen should pay attention. Jesus began to teach beside the lake again. Such a large crowd gathered that he climbed into a boat there on the lake. He sat in the boat while the whole crowd was nearby on the shore. He said many things to them in parables, that's stories, right? While teaching them, he said, listen to this. A farmer went out to scatter seed. As he was scattering seed, some fell on the path and the birds ate it up. Other seed fell on rocky ground where the soil was shallow. They sprouted immediately because the soil wasn't deep. When the sun came up, it scorched the plants and they dried up because they had no roots. Other seed fell among thorny plants. The thorny plants grew and choked the seeds and they produced nothing. Other seed fell into good soil and bore fruit. Upon growing and increasing, the seed produced, in one case, a yield of 30 to 1, in another case, a yield of 60 to 1, and in another case, a yield of 100 to 1. And he said, anyone, whoever has ears to listen should pay attention. And you probably just heard all those sirens head out from the firehouse across the street here. And I want to just take a moment with you to pray for whoever they're going to help out. So let's pray. Lord God, you know what that situation is. They, all the fire trucks are heading out and the sirens are going. And we pray, Lord, that you would be at work in all those who are affected and who need those firefighters to come and help them. Be with them. Keep them all safe. And we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, back to our story. So um, I want to show you this, um, this plant. This is a plant that I keep in my office. It's really big, isn't it? And it's got all these big, beautiful, shiny green leaves. This is called a peace lily. And this is a plant that I've had in my office for a really long time. It has flowers that grow in it. You see this little white flower here, and there's another one growing right here, and there's several more and other here's one that's not turned white yet but it's gonna it's gonna be white one of these days um, so it's got all these flowers in it and it's got um, these beautiful shiny leaves can anyone tell me what's missing from this pot do you think there's anything missing there are no rocks in the pot there are no weeds or thorns there's no gravel there's no cement there's nothing but good soil so those are the things that are missing from the pot is the bad stuff but there's good soil in that pot and that plant is growing and thriving because it has everything that it needs to grow and thrive and nothing to stop its growth whenever I see that it's beginning to sag just a little bit you know sometimes plants do that I get some water and I put water on it and it grows again and I've got it sitting in an east window and that's a good place for it because the sun shines on it and gives it good light and it and it's doing really well. Jesus uh, gave us these stories that we call parables, including this parable of the sower that I just read to you. And if we let those stories penetrate our hearts, just like the seed that penetrated the soil that created this beautiful plant in the pot behind me, they will, those people will fertilize, those seeds will fertilize and nourish our faith. And so the more that we listen to the words of Jesus, the more we grow in wisdom and in faith. Jesus told this story about a farmer because many of his listeners were farmers. He knew that they could relate to the struggles of this farmer to plant his seed in good soil so that it would produce a good crop. But Jesus was not interested in helping farmers grow more lettuce and broccoli. He wanted us to grow in our faith. Some seed fell on the path and was eaten or swept away. And that seed represents people who, who hear the stories of the Bible but aren't really listening. And we know that there's people like that, right? Hopefully not you and me. 
Some seed fell in the rocky places and among the thorns. And those are people who hear the message of the Bible, but they get so distracted by so many other things, they quickly forget the message and they never grow. Again, hopefully not you and me, right? But, but there, we know that there are people like that who forget the message and they never grow. And then some of the seed falls into good soil and it produces a huge crop. And this is where God wants us all to be, planted in really good soil. God wants us to read the Bible every day and God wants us to spend time in prayer every day. And that's what we do to nurture our faith, to help our faith grow. And if we do that, if we take that time, our faith will grow and God will use each of us to spread God's word, to spread the love of Jesus to our community, to the people all around us. So what's the ultimate goal for a farmer? It's to produce food, food right? The more their crops grow, the more food that they produce. Um, an apple tree, I don't know if any of you might have an apple tree in your yard, but if there's an apple tree planted in rocky soil, it's just not going to grow very well. And, um, and an, But an apple tree in good soil is going to produce a huge crop. Uh, if you've ever been out to one of the orchards in the area and seen the, the apples growing on the trees um, in the fall, you know, you know how those, uh, those trees can bear great fruit. They bear so many apples um, because they're planted in good soil and they're taken care of. When our faith is rooted in good soil, we can produce a crop as well. God will use us to create fruit by spreading our faith to others, sharing our faith to others. We pray for our friends, we look for opportunities to love and serve those in need, and we share our faith by bringing friends to church and by telling them about Jesus and his love. God gave us the Bible to help us to cultivate good soil in our hearts. God gave us these parables for the same reason. If we listen closely to these stories that Jesus told, told we'll discover truths about God and about life and about how we should live for God. The more we learn from these parables, the more our faith will grow. It's easy to get distracted by the cares of the world, isn't it? And to forget to spend time with God. But God wants to, us to make God number one in our lives. God wants the Bible to be the most important book that we ever read. God wants us to make praying our top priority. If we make God number one, our faith will grow like a seed in the good soil. We will grow strong and we will bear lots of fruit for Jesus. So I hope that um, each week for Sunday School that you'll come with open ears and open hearts as we read more about more of Jesus parables in the coming six weeks or so. I hope that you'll also take time to read the Bible at home and spend time in prayer every day. Remember this story that we heard today, uh, the parable of the sower comes from Mark's gospel. That's in the New Testament. That's where all of Jesus' parables are found in the New Testament. And, you're in, and we wanna be in Mark chapter four, verses one through nine. So pull out a Bible and, and get one of the big people in your, in your house to help you read that story, to remember that story of the parable of the sower. Let's ask God to give us ears to hear, and let's ask God to help us um, from, from being distracted by other things so that we can learn the wisdom of Jesus. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for teaching us how to live. Please help us bear fruit for you. In Jesus' name, amen. So kids, you might want to talk with the, the big people who live with you to see if maybe you can plant some seeds to grow this spring. This is a great time to do this, to get seeds into the ground. Maybe some vegetables like, like corn or lettuce or tomatoes. Maybe some flowers like zinnias or marigolds. You, you know, you could plant seeds in a, if you have a flower bed or a vegetable patch at your house, um, you could plant seeds there. And if you don't, you can get a pot or you can even get like a cup, like a styrofoam cup and fill it up with soil and plant seeds in it. And, um, and it'll be, and you'll be able to watch the, the seeds grow. Just remember, you got to keep the, the rocks and the birds away and you need to water the seeds and keep them in the sun. 
So have fun with growing things this spring. It's a, it's a fun thing to do in the spring to watch things grow and to see how they develop and get stronger. And remember that just like those plants are growing and getting stronger and maybe developing flowers like this one is or, or vegetables or whatever you might be growing, um, remember that in the same way, um, we're trying to grow our faith in God as well through reading the scriptures, through praying, through sharing uh, the love of Jesus with others. So when we do that, we're growing as well and we're growing stronger and we're beginning to share, to grow things that we might be able to share with others like our love for Jesus. Um, that's that's the fruit that we bear when, when God is growing us. So take time for scriptures and for prayer and, uh, and remember that God wants us to grow just like God wants plants to grow. Hey, it's been great being with you today. I hope you'll be with me again next Sunday for Sunday School. And let's remember, whoever has ears to listen, let them pay attention. Bye, guys. Have a great week.